Hello, Internet friends. Welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. And today we are starting something new. We are starting, uh, I guess, video-wise, it's a new series. And for me, it's kind of a new direction. Uh, as I mentioned in my last video, the Far From Perfect uh, training history and compilation video, when I got to the very end of that, I talked about sort of how my recent training has been and most specifically how the summer went. It was not good for me. I had a lot of what I would say was regression in terms of doing what I want to do. I had a lot of internal issues going on and because of that my training suffered. I was in a point where I felt like I lost a lot of focus in doing the things that I really truly enjoy and I lost some of that joy because of the headspace that I was in. But, like I said, I moved out of that. I am in a completely new environment now. And as you're seeing, this is a new garage gym. This is a different house. I moved again. And I am kind of starting fresh. I'm rebuilding some bases and taking some new perspectives, using this as an opportunity to work on some things that maybe I didn't feel like I was able to before and uh, technical or technique wise when it comes to the lifting nutrition wise when it comes to my adherence to a solid plan and just life organization wise in terms of how i approach my uh, day to day i think one of the issues i really struggled with during the summer was i had too much free time i've always managed to make things work uh, despite feeling like i was constantly had so much on my plate and really busy, but what I recognized and realized about myself is once I finished with school, once I didn't have uh, like a job that someone else had me go in where I had to do that, a lot of my daily structure started to degrade and I need that kind of structure in my life to keep me from getting too far distracted and away from the things uh, that I really do find joy in. So. I have been reorganizing a lot of things, I've kind of given myself a couple of markers uh, just to keep my days together, and with that, my training is already going a lot better. Uh, the video you're watching right now is from a training session actually over a week ago. Um, this was the start of this new program that I'm running, and it's actually, uh, I'm going to give a shout out to Bryce Lewis and the Strength Athlete TSA. Um, basically, I am going to be using their intermediate program, the one that Bryce released free. I'll link uh, his YouTube channel, and I will also link the TSA program that he distributed in the description here. Um, I kind of picked that because I felt like I need something that I can't regulate my way out of. I Recently, I've been having a tendency to... When I get frustrated with my sessions, I either add or take away weight, and uh, just my discipline in the workouts um, has been less consistent than in the past. And I like the stuff that Bryce has been doing, and I really looked at this program and found it uh, to be along the lines of something I'd like to you know, give a shot. I definitely like a lot of the principles that it's built on. It seems solid, and I liked that it forced me to take some weight off the bar initially, because one of the issues that I was running into is every time I'd do a reset, I would go a little bit too hard too fast and not have a chance to fix some things. My ego would get in the way, and I'm sick of that. I need to or I needed to have a moment for myself where I decided, okay, I don't care what weight's on the bar, I don't care about this being in a video, I refuse to be embarrassed by the loading if it's an exercise I'm not particularly proficient at, I'm just going to do what I feel like I need to do to move my goals up. And my goal is not to be a super famous YouTuber, my goals are to get stronger and to keep using powerlifting as something at, like a positive force in my life to drive me forward and to do the things that I want to do and eventually I want to deadlift 800 pounds that's something that I, I feel like I've psyched myself out too many times about to really give a fair shot and so I'm gonna start working and putting in kind of the the less flashy sucks to do but way worth it kind of stuff to 
build up some of those goals that I've had for a long time and give it a real shot without being able to uh, overthink my way out of it. So this is the first episode. I have five videos already made and I will be posting them daily until I catch up to the workouts that I'm on since I'm uh, training four days a week. And once that happens, we'll move to the four videos per week, but I am going to be including the whole workout, I'll have that little section there with the workout write-up so that I can't hide anything from uh, you guys. It's holding me accountable and it's keeping me um, consistent and definitely taking the points of my life that I feel like I need to focus on and improve and bring them to the forefront. So this is me. This is me sharing it with you guys. Uh, I can't promise big, flashy, exciting workouts, but what I can promise is an honest look at what I'm doing to get myself where I feel like I need to be based off of where I've been and where I want to go. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for following along. Welcome to the grind if you're new and uh, let's go. I'm far from perfect, but I'm even further from finished.